Hey everyone, this is Mayu, and welcome to Fun Friday. Every Friday, I try to do something new, fun, and challenging. Last week, I tried drawing in virtual reality for the first time using a VR headset. Thank you to everyone who supported with their likes and shares. Today, since many of you have been wondering how I used to draw when I was younger, I'm going to redraw one of the pictures I drew when I was about 9 years old. So this is a drawing I did of Sailor Moon, which is one of my favorite shows of all time growing up, and I still love it. And here you can see I drew another character. This is myself. So I created this scout as myself so I could be one of them. And back then it was my dream to be part of the Sailor Scouts. Oh yeah, those were good times. Let's see how I would draw this now and compare. This new drawing took lots of hours. Here, I sketched out the basic body shapes and planned out the whole drawing with six characters first before I started taping. Now I'm going into more details. For this new drawing based on my childhood art, I try to follow my old drawing as close as possible for the character lineup, poses, their height, and designs. Maybe you've already noticed some parts of my old drawing that don't look natural. Can you spot any unusual things? When you do, tell me which character and which part in the comments. After the drawing part is done, I'm going over my art to ink the lines. The image on the right is how I drew Sailor Jupiter back then. I think I drew Sailor Mars pretty good back then at age 9. I especially liked how I got her purple highlights in the hair. However, I think my own Mars has some funny legs. Now I'm inking me as one of the Sailor Scouts based on my childhood drawing. I was a huge fan. I wanted to become one of them. Maybe I'll call her Sailor May. What name would you give her? I remember I gave myself a special wand back then. I designed it like a bird with a big orb in the middle. I remember idolizing Sailor Moon and just being so into that world. I was probably the only girl in my class who liked that show, but I'm glad I was really into it. Whenever I watch the show now, it really brings back a lot of fond memories. I love Sailor Moon's hair, cute meatball head.
Sailor Moon is one of my favorite anime shows. Which anime or cartoon series do you like? Now I'm inking Sailor Mercury, one of my favorite characters. Here comes Sailor Venus. Alright, now that all the characters are inked, I'll be adding colors. A note on the last character, Sailor V, her legs in my childhood drawing looks funny and very painful. So I changed the pose a bit for my new drawing. I remember a song from one of the episodes about Sailor Jupiter. It's called Rainy Day Man and I thought that was one of the saddest and sweetest songs in the whole series. I love Sailor Mars and her personality. For all you Sailor Moon fans, which character resembles your personality the most? If you like, please share in the comments. Now I'm coloring Sailor May. Yay! I wonder what kind of power Sailor May should have. Here's my childhood art again. I remember at that age thinking about how to design my original scout character and deciding on the hair color and the outfit color. At that time, my favorite color was purple, so that was the color for her outfit. I think it's interesting to look back at how I used to draw. It's fun to think how much I've changed over the years. One of the reasons why I love Sailor Moon so much is because not only are the characters so different and relatable, this show was the first major anime that got me really interested in drawing in an anime style. I remember first seeing these characters and falling in love with how beautiful they were drawn and I would literally practice every day back then drawing them and making my own characters and dreaming to become some kind of character artist when I grew up.
The color difference between old and new is quite interesting. Unlike my childhood drawing, I'm not going to do any kind of background color because I think this shows the characters better. Alright, let's compare. Here's my childhood drawing, and here's the one I've just done now. Yes, there's a huge difference, but I like them both because without my childhood love for art and drawing, I won't be able to show you what I can draw now. I hope this art video can inspire some of you who love to draw and love art to keep practicing. You will get better. It worked for me, and it can work for you too. I'm very happy I'm able to show you my childhood drawing in this video. I hope all you fun drawers out there can keep your art you're doing now and be able to look back on them in the future. I think it will be very memorable. I hope you enjoyed this challenge. Let me know how you feel about it. And thank you for supporting art and my fun draw channel with your likes, subscribes, and by sharing my videos with your friends and social media. I'll see you every week on Tutorial Thursday and Fun Friday. Thanks everyone!